Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Oh, loud shuffle this one. And we are ready now. So your energy is High Priestess, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, The Chariot. Your person's energy is Three of Cups, Star Major Arcana, Five of Swords, Seven of Wands, Meeting Energy is The Fool, Strength Card, Two of Cups, Temperance, Our Focus, Page of Cups, bottom of the deck, Justice, a right and fair decision, it doesn't have to be something about legal matters, guys. It can be a verdict, though, uh, there can be an apology coming your way, it is not said that um, it is going to pay off. Compromise, which is the temperance. Ask your angels. It can be the A Priestess. Communicate clearly. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. Bottom of the deck, healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. The Five of Swords is bothering me. Guys, the golden mirror, yes indeed, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided, relationship, love-bombing. This can be a stubborn person, even a jealous one, a possessive one, a connection basically works only if it unfolds according to their ideas you are still a wish for this person the three of cups is a little bit tricky because let's say that it is the desire of this person to rekindle the connection with you uh, but a lot of challenges uh, were involved and it is fair to say that this person was not willing to make adjustments uh, on the run so, no real chance for a Divine Alchemy, plus we have the Two of Cups and the Temperance. Um, it can truly be a Divine Alchemy in the Love Arena. This person basically can ask you guys to give them another chance. You are iffy at the 100%, Two of Pentacles. Why? Because you basically perceive the cycle with this person as an infinite loop, you know, over and over the same old song, Rough Waters Behind the Man in the Two of Pentacles, the Rough Waters can be a concept about the Five of Swords, clouded interaction, a stubborn person truly, my goodness, <sighs> they know everything. The chariot for me is guided by the star, but it is not said that your star is a concept about this person. This can be a decision to move on, guys. I'm sorry to say that if you are investigating the energies in order to uh, figure out if maybe with a challenging partner things can be worked out, this flow is... Mm, it's like a, a warning, let's say. The Queen of Swords can call out a partner 100% plus for me the justice lady can swing the ace of swords in a queen of swords fashion the truth of the queen can set her free so basically you guys can set yourself free from a cycle that is not going anywhere 
if the three of cups is about third party situations you know trust uh, may not be here anymore so you can hold back no real chance to share love the fool can be the decision to go away let's find out more let's see nine of pentacles four of swords page of swords superficial energy this one guys paired up with the five of swords um, it can be about a person that is not able to go deep when it comes to the necessity to understand how things truly work the nine of pentacles is about singlehood uh, this can be what can happen for this person they can be left behind following the man in green and red in the five of swords um, you know the star the star is an energy that has nothing to share with the five of swords and even with the seven of wands because this is about transparency opening up at the 100% vulnerability maybe this person is not able to do that or maybe they think that um, uh, the chance to get naked with a partner is a sign of uh, vulnerability and we are good to go well this is something that we can debate uh, if you ask me but um, I think that it is fair to say that the justice uh, verdict is going to hit this person right in the face let's see your side Ooh, a lot of cards let's see the hermit moment of solitude even and there is the star within the lantern of the hermit so it's kind of like some of you are looking for something different ten of cups seven of cups a lot of questions and doubts ace of wands this can be how this person can try to convince you guys to be together it seems difficult they can like you quite a lot uh, but you know uh, this connection this interaction is is not strong enough meaning we are lacking multiple factors and this person works in a way that can even become you know like um, a limit you know we cannot aim higher it's a roadblock it's an obstacle the mindset of this person and some of you are called to manifest the high priestess queen of swords combination in order to cut through the veil of confusion that we can associate to the seven of cups a lot of questions that uh, need answers let's see the meeting guys because it seems that the perspective about the connection is completely different between the two of you here we go so ten of swords high priestess your side king of swords which can be a match for the queen queen of wands knight of wands so extremely interesting um, these energies because there can be a meaningful and fiery factor when it comes to this connection the ace of wands is not going to make the cut because some of you guys uh, may think let's say that this person is only driven by the sexual side of a connection basically they want to see you guys naked but you know what else <laughs> what they can bring to the connection 
So the conversation is going to be straightforward. Uh, if you resonate, of course, with the Queen of Swords, and this person becomes the king, they are not going to bow down because they can truly be someone that knows how to handle conversations and even altercations, discussions. They can try to win a point or an argument, let's say, in order to prove that they are right. Of course, they are always right. We know the drill. But the Ten of Swords is just around the corner. That's why the different perspective. Some of you do not see the real chance for a new leap of faith with this person. And they can truly face an outcome that is way different from their expectations. The Eight of Wands follows along when it comes to the passionate exchanges that can be involved. It is fair to say that some of you can resist the avances. But this person seems to think only in one way. And it can be a way that um, can be perceived as a superficial one. So it seems that... Uh, this connection is headed towards a closing point and the two of you can be basically single moving forward this person may not understand why some of you guys uh, can say no to their avances to their offer they can try to charm you guys but considering the A Priestess and the Queen of Swords, it is fair to say that you cannot be fooled. And whatever type of apology, sweet uh, gesture we can associate to the Page of Cups, it's influenced by uh, an ulterior motive, a second intention. It's like this person wants to please uh, their pleasures, you know? They have a different idea about love connections and it is fair to say that um, if you resonate it is your right to end the cycle and move on kind of pursuing different horizons one-sided relationship it's not going anywhere it's better for this person to realize that sooner rather than later Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.